Do you know the story of the millet bird and the ant? No. Then listen, it's a story about helping each other. You see the bird that made its nest right there? The yellow bird? The Malakoteng ant is never far away. After the rain, it always brings out its seeds to dry them, but also for the bird. It's no coincidence that the bird builds its nest here. It sings and tells the ant when the rain is over, so that it can bring its seeds out. And in return, the ant lets it peck at its supplies because it knows that the bird has nothing to eat right now. Look. But the bird is honest. Once the millet has grown, it will return the share it borrowed from the ant. It perches on the spikes, shaking off seeds that fall on the ground where the ant can gather them. Once the bird has returned the millet, we can start the harvest. The rain has been plentiful. The riverbeds are full again. The ground is soaked and sunny days will now provide perfect conditions for the crops to thrive. The Mofu believe that water and sun are not the only things required for a successful harvest. There must be peace and harmony in the spiritual world of their ancestors. The mountains are a sacred place. Mazengul Rock, one of the highest points, is an important spot for rituals. Here they pay tribute to the spirits of the mountains, the embolum, to ensure that the crops grow ripe and full. The sacrificer tears off part of the mountain spirit from the rock three times. This symbolizes a union of the village, the mountains, and the ancestors. He distributes a share of the spirit to ambassadors from the village. Finally, he leads the others in sending prayers to the sacred rock. They ask for a plentiful harvest and relief from harsh climate conditions. The granaries in the village are almost empty and the termites in city's home are threatening to move into the other connected structures and destroy the last of the village food supplies. There's still no sign that the Jaglavac ants have heard the prayers. <laughs> <laughs> 